at 7.30, we got Army, who's 3-0, and Trevon to Temple, who's 1-3. Uh, Army favored by 12.5 points on ESPN. We don't get to talk about Thursday games very often, but we do get to talk about one that, for this one. Uh, Bryson Daly, so far for the year for Army, has gone 10 of 19, throwing for 186 yards, 3 touchdowns, 0 interceptions. Also leads the team on the ground with 58 carries for 340 yards and 5 touchdowns. Case Reynolds had 4 catches for 97 yards and 2 touchdowns. Evan Simon has had 34 carries for 52 yards. 456 yards through the air, 7 touchdowns, 1 interception. Antoine Littleton is at 39 carries for 146 yards, and Dante Wright is at 26 catches for 382 yards and 3 touchdowns. Um, I think a lot of people would be shocked if you told me if you told them there were 5 teams left undefeated in the group of 5, right? And Army was one of them. It would be a little shock to the brain. I mean, anyone who's looked at Army's schedule definitely thought they could start 3-0, and honestly, they have a path to four and zero here. In all honesty, Army hasn't played great football to you yet. I'll be so for real. Lehigh, um, Rice, and FAU do not represent the top of the American Conference and who you're going to have to eventually play. Um, but Army is one of five teams left undefeated in the Group of Five, and if you're talking about like legitimate playoff contenders, they're one of six, right? And so I think what's really interesting here is Army-Navy is relevant. Both of these teams are relevant to the playoff picture, and I think that's kind of crazy. I think the world would implode if we got Army or Navy in the playoffs. It would be beautiful. I would be so, so very happy if we get Army or Navy in the playoffs. I don't think it's going to happen, but it might. Army is one of a couple, again, undefeated group of five teams, but they haven't played anyone, really, right? Like, Unlike everyone else who's kind of proven themselves to an extent, um, UNLV has beaten two good Power 4 football teams. James Madison just went on the road and beat UNC. Uh, UN, um, Navy just beat a very solid Memphis team. Um, again, Liberty hasn't really proven much. I mean, they beat a solid East Carolina team, but they don't really have to. They play in a really weak Conference USA, and while... On one hand, that's going to hinder them in, like, strength of schedule, and if there's another group of five team that's undefeated, they're going to make it in over them. Um, they have a very easy path to undefeated status, right? Army doesn't quite have that. You're playing a tough American. Uh, not only does Navy still exist, which is, again, Americans the only group of five conference still standing with more than one undefeated team, um, but you also have Memphis, who is a solid football team. Again, they were a favorite to make the playoffs before suffering that loss to uh, Navy this past weekend, North Texas is solid, USF is a solid football team. Um, there's a lot of solid football teams in the American that you're going to have to play. I mean, you're going just going to have to eventually play them. Um, not to mention Army does eventually have to play Notre Dame, which is, that's your chance for a solid win. And again, if you win that football game, if you go undefeated down the stretch, I will say Army should be a favorite to make the playoffs. But can be hard to go undefeated. I think you continue it here. I don't think Army's a phenomenal football team. I think the 3-0 record's a little bit of, like, a you haven't played anyone kind of thing. But again, Temple's not really anyone either. Give me Army to win and cover on the road.